Hello and welcome back. We are leaving this puzzle until we get further information because uh, I have no idea how to fix it or actually just uh, uh, solve it. So I just leave. Uh, seems like randomly trying uh, solutions uh, is uh, not the best way. Also, we don't have any clues, so that's that. Anyhow. Where do we go? I think we just need to leave this place. Yep. That works for me. So I suppose the big wing in town is not gonna be too happy about the situation. It's like, hey, you know the guy uh, who start whose name starts with an O? That I'm supposed to save? Yeah, he's dead. Also, that glowing Adra? Forget about it. Bit of a bummer. But I suppose he did promise to... Help with the repair of my ship? Damn. Did I just do this for nothing? I'm not so sure. Hopefully, hopefully uh, he's gonna stand by it. This is a rather small island, so... Um, I don't know. I guess we need we need a ship to get out of this uh, place. We need to go back to Port Maya. There's nothing else here. Merchant vessel. Daily wages? You bastards! Uh, Governor's Clario's state. Yeah, let's just go there. Everything else is, uh... Something that I already checked out. Will we get attacked by a Kraken at any point? And, uh, more importantly, will we get lightsabers? Those are some uh, very important questions right there. And I wonder if the game tries to uh, turn this around somehow, that Eltas is the good guy. And uh, we'll know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And what he did was justified. Somewhat. Uh, Governor Clario. What can I do for you? I have information for you about the dick site. At last, Belfetto, tell me please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must... I must know. Yes, so, I'm sorry some of your animators made it, but I'm afraid Odoresi was killed when Eotas arrived. No, he didn't kill everybody. I saw the same destruction Eotas wrecked on Cadnua. Or the rest is that? I don't know. That he doesn't care about Cadnua. I just go with the I'm sorry. Some of your animals has made it. I, I see. I suppose we are fortunate to have any survivors. And Odorisi's notes, his research. Clarius' uh, gaze searches yours with almost feverish anticipation. Yeah, I have the notes. I. You did. Gods be kind. Uh, Clario takes the bundled notes from you with barely restrained urgency. Within moments he is uh, flipping through the papers, his eyes sweeping back and forth across the pages. Belfetto! Belfetto! We are saved! <clears throat> I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Uh, Clario lets out a relieved, almost giddy laugh, looking up with you with a toothy grin. A grin he hides soon after, beneath a cough and a look of some regret. That is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. He folds the papers once again and sets his hands over them protectively. You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeotis, and you still insist on looking for him? Yeah. He destroyed your ship, killed my people. 
Would it not make more sense to sail to the far side of the world and away from all this? Oh, what? I'm gonna use my resolve. I'm already scared. You're not helping. <laughs> it is a strange obligation you are under. I understand a little of that. Lucky for you. If I were a more sensible man, I would take this for fable and turn you away. Eatus is using the other pillars as energy sources. If I can find more, I can find him. Merla. He will ravage every outpost in the dead fire. That Adra is why we are here. Why everyone is here in truth. The Valian Trading Company. The Royal Dead Fire Company. Countless mercenaries. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. Got it. The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the Deadfire. I'm certain she can help you. That is, if she agrees to see you at all. And you promised to help me, you remember? I have not forgotten. We will get you to Nekataka. And for that, you need your sheep. I'll arrange it with Ekawa. Between the two of us, I'm certain we can gather the workers we need. Head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Thanks for your help. Bompiako. It is only right. After all you have done for me. I won't keep you further. You have a long and very strange journey ahead. Thanks for that. Some advice. After you have had your audience with the Queen, Seek out the Valian Trading Company. They make their headquarters in Nekataka. And the company always appreciates good help. Thanks for the tip. Now we all leveled up and I have to make decisions again. Damn it, game. I'm not ready. Let's get better with insights. Ooh, level 3 spells. I need to read these. Okay, strip beneficial effects. Uh, personal defense. Mm, what is this? All nearby foes become sickened and terrified. Sure. On cell house, draining touch. It's a draining weapon. Hmm. Are those delay of motion? Yeah. Okay. Noxious bursts. Spew forth a poisonous cloud of fallness that c causes corrode damage and leaves victims sickened. Sure. Not a lot of damage. Expose vulnerabilities. That's good on the tougher opponent. Wow, really? Calicot's Minor Blights. Summon weapon Calicot's Minor Blights. Yeah. Minalatus Burnt Bounding Missiles. It leaps to additional targets as well. Yeah, but that's still bad. How many missiles are we? Three missiles. And jumps. And apparently the jumps do extra damage. Plus 20% per bunce. That's not too bad, I guess. Or just go with crackling bolts. Bounces up to four times, but it does less damage on bounces. This is basically 24 to 36. This is a little bit different. Two meters uh, jump range. 
This doesn't specify. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This doesn't jump to enemies. This bounces on walls, right? Full jump. Also, we got fireball. Fireball instead of fan of flames. Like, fireball is better. If I can nail a good fireball, that's really good. Let's, let's just go with fireball. Actually, I have two points to spend. Damn. I thought spending the first point was hard. Gain concentration at the start of each combat. It prevents an interruption. Reveal defense. Minoletto's bonding missile seems like an easy one to uh, use. But concentration start of each combat seems like a good one to pick up. Let's pick that one up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Adair. Athletics. Uh, let's just go with that. Intimidate. Sure. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mule kick. But also disorients. Uh, so it means it's flanked. Intuitive characters have more perception, grace to hit, and chance to hit. Hit, oh, hit the crit. What is this? Oh, concentration. Cute. Intelligence. Yeah, that's not that good. Hit the crit, that's not that good either. What is this? The fighter strikes their target with devastating force, gaining significant additional penetration during the attack. Yeah, that's more of a... Not... Not really for a tank. Rapid recovery. Okay. Better passive HP regen. That sounds great. What else we got? Enemies engaged. Start with Concentration. I think we might just go with Mule Kick. Disoriented for 8 seconds. That's not too bad. Bonus Accuracy, Bonus Damage. Mule Kick is okay. Ah, uh, let's go with that. Mm-hmm. Alchemy. Yeah, let's go with that. History. Uh, diplomacy. Sure. Oh, pre-skills. Smart inspiration for extended duration. Plus five int for a party member. That's not so bad. Vile horns. Watchful presence. Blast allies with the aid of sympathetic soul, releasing a healing effect when they are near death. Okay. But you could also just heal them before they are about to die. This is a buff for the party. Health restore per second. I think this is one of the better ones. Marks a target for retribution, inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. That that's a really good debuff. It even deals damage. Yeah, combat focus. Maybe not do that. Okay, level five priest. What else we got? We got Elot. Who's gonna 
get better at stealthing and bluffing. And what else we got? So I can spend spend a point at wizard or rogue. I already got a magic spell. Two-handed weapons. Okay. Smoke whale. Hits into crits. <sighs> yeah, this is a bit tough to pick. And do I want another uh, ability? Like smoke whale. Invisible and untargetable for five seconds. It's quiet and fast. Or a blinding strike. If successful, blinded for 15 seconds, which is pretty damn good. And it how, how much it costs? Two guile. But it does set up uh, flank. Yeah, it does enable flank. So, which is pretty damn good. So, let's just go with Blinding Strike. Yep. <laughs> Come on, game. How may I help? Mm, so. Guile. Do I want a Crippling Strike? Escape, combat only? Sure. Let's go with Blinding Strike. At the ready. Plus we also have... Yeah, that one. Sure. That looks fine. 28 to 38. Yeah. I don't have that skill, actually. Fine. I was actually curious what kind of damage would Watcher yeah. do. With that skill instead. Uh, but we can't check right now. So, uh, the thing is, should should we go to the ship right away, or thing is, there's like a different menu, I believe. Yeah, ship management. We need crew. We need rum. Well, we got rum dumb brigair, and apparently we already have uh, a sailor, but we might need more, and we might need to. Rest as well before we we head out. Who knows? So the plan is maybe we go for a good night's rest in the Kraken's Eye and ask the innkeep uh, if he knows any good sailors who might want to join up. And that's it. Toro? Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? I'd like to hire some crew members onto my There's ship. Plenty of people looking for passage out of here. Let's see if any of them catch your interest. Okay, let's see. They join for free, but they require a daily wage. Daily food ration. What? Novice cannon the air? Let's see. The better they are, the more money they want. What? This is bullshit. Personality chatty. Academic. Recruit adventurers. Oh boy. They're becoming uh, more expensive. Retrain a character. Party management. Oh. Uh, so we're gonna have only a five man party. We do know that. Elf Adir, Shield Sister Dahlia. So, it's, there's not much to really think about here. I think I need all of these people. Dwarf Durwood Chatty. 
I suppose this is uh this discourages me just fast forwarding all the time. Yeah. Sure. Let's hire all of them. They all cost zero copper. Plus a daily wage of one That's copper. I hate talking to you. Still kicking, eh? I like sure the room, thing. please. 43 coppers for a room. That's a lot of coppers. And these people want like one copper. Seriously? What a steal. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just head uh, out of town. Finally toward our ship and apparently we are perhaps going to see the queen. Uh, let's just go on foot out of town. And check out what they did to my ship. I really hope they fixed it right up. Because if not, I don't know what to do in this town. Villario's rest. Party management. So many thingies to click on. <laughs> Yeah, there are empower abilities as well that I don't really use, unless the combat is really tough. Good, you are here. Clario has made good on his promise. We are making ready to free your ship. Ikaha gestures toward your vessel, where a motley crew, a uh, group of Huana and Valium workers race to and fro. I say still that you are fortunate. The ship was nearly lost. But it will float. For how long, I cannot say. You will wish to find a friendly port with some speed, I think. Uh, do you know where Nekataka is? So you will go to the great Kahanga city as well. You must sail north for some time, and then a little east. Take care in Nekataka, outsider. It will close its jaws around you, and you will never notice. Come. We will see your Defiant out to sea. That sounds great! What? I achieved the... Uh, well, achievement. My lady, we should address the matter of our ship's resources before we get underway. Yes? It saddens me to inform you that we lost several crew and most of our provisions during the storm. Sounds great. However, Port Marge appears to be well supplied, and I expect the recent disaster has left several sailors in want of a ship. Already ahead of you, uh, with the sailors. I hired everybody. I suggest we contract for additional supplies and crew before we return to open water, or our voyage may indeed be a short one. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, that was fast. As the Defiant leaves Port Mai behind, you casually observe dozens of other ships coming and going. Mostly fishing and trade vessels, Moncraft stands out. An imposing doll, replete with cannons, uh, crests into view across the Defiant starboard bow. The flag raised high atop its uh, sail signifies a wish to parley, however, the doe approaches at, a, at an aggressive speed, suggesting that it may not be easily turned away. Face the pursuer head on! You spin the ship's wheel counterclockwise, and the ship swings round quickly, disturbing a goal resting on the foremast. The bird voids a white splotch on the deck as a sign of disapproval. 
even out the wheel and bear straight toward the dwell. The distance closes quickly and soon the massive dough a hole rolls on the waves beside your ship. Boarding planks emerge and are quickly cast onto your ship, along with shouts from its crew notifying that you that their captain uh, will be boarding. <laughs> Several well armed men cross the planks, their eyes uh, watching every inch of your ship. The crowd uh, parts open to make uh, way for their captain, a tall, well dressed man. He peers at you with one impeccably groomed eyebrow raised. Following behind the captain, and in stark contrast, strides an unkept Orlan. <clears throat> a pair of pistol grips pr protrude from his belt, and he casually throws a stocky firearm round his index finger. His saggy face, framed by long cobalt blue hair and a widely braided cerulean beard makes the crooked smirk he directs at you seem almost sinister. That was a lot of wasted words just for saying that PIRATES! Maybe not pirates. It could be, could be totally not pirates. There's a chance for pirates, but hey, this is surely not the case right here. Is it? On behalf of the Principe San Patrina, I must request we meet in Parley. Principe San Patrina, responding to the collapse of Grand Vela, um, noble families packed up their households and sailed abroad seeking opportunities away from their shadow of their homeland. Over time, their old world traditions evolved into a new identity as the Principe San Patrina. Uh, the Princess Without a Homeland, a loosely connected and regulated organization of pirates. What the hell? Pirates! I told you, pirates! Uh, the broad-shouldered captain uptilts his chin in greeting. When he smiles, his left cheek devotes a shallow dimple. Uh, you could have asked before you boarded my ship uninvited. Request denied, now get off my ship. <laughs> Let's just be friendly. Ecosi, it has been some time since I last asked another's permission. He flourishes a curtly bow. I have heard some marvelous tales regarding your ventures in the Deerwood. And it's all true. In fact, you are the first dragon slayer I have ever met, outside of a grave. So you wanna... Take my stuff now? Some fools would seek to make a fortune by pilfering from one such as you. Not you, though. I take it he is not one of those fools. Uh, perhaps we should listen. A lot crosses his arms, cautious but curious. <clears throat> Under the captain's words, you hear a faint but insistent buzzing. It blooms, overwhelming. Ferranta's voice, drowning out all else around you. No one else seems to notice. A vision. Thunder cracks between your ears. And you glimpse a different sun-shod sea be behind your eyes. Fight against it. With my resolve. You close your mind against the spiritual invasion, but the visions slide around and through your defenses, washing over you as implacably as the sea. The visions streak across your mind's eye, fleeting and incoherent, an elf, dark-haired and battle-scarred, stepping across the gulf between vessels. She shakes Ferranta's hand, and uh, warmth spills through you, excitement, pride, respect. The, imag the imaginary melts like a candle wax into a lamp-lit gallery swamped with the scent of unwatered rum and sweet fruit, with sailors and their songs and sweat. <clears throat> uh, the scene billows away, eyes cold and clawing, replaced with the crew on deck, solemn and staring, as Frente grasps one of uh, their own by the throat. No, not one of them, uh, not one of their own, no more. You don't 
steal from family and stay family. Tears and mucus mar the man's features as Ferrante reads the man's the, the man his last rites. T for no. They'll consign him to Ondra as tradition dictates. Goddess of the Oceans. Great. The vision passes, leaving you blinking on the deck of the Defiant, looking into the looking into Ferrante's face. He raises an eyebrow. I believe you have met such a fool, Captain Benweth of the Drake. Despite the gravity of his words, he smiles grandly, and uh, the dimple cuts deeper into his left cheek. I know a cipher's handiwork when I feel it. Tell yours to stay out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> the blue Orland's mouth falls open. Careful, ship hunter. Mind that you do not confuse a useful skill set for a non-expendable one. A frantic glares at uh, Seraphan. The Orland stands back, blinking away uh, the rebuke, and peers at you, probing. His yellow-green eyes narrow and focused as if trying to remember something, then the captain turns a warm smile back to you. My apologies. Rest assured, it will not happen again. Apologies, captain. Didn't mean it, really. We're up all night, you know, searching out our friend here. It looks to you. You've been at sea a while. Your mind starts playing tricks on you, eh? Well, mine plays tricks on others, too. Usually don't mean much. Maybe see a bit of shadow, hear a bit of tune. Not less a person sensitive. Like, say, a watcher. He winks. I remember the Drake. You say uh, this Captain Benvench is the one who attacked me? Ach, the short-sighted scoundrel has been wreaking havoc in the area for months. He is no son of Velia. I do not fault his ancestry, but he disregards too much the grand heritage we principally represent. Yeah... Um... I'm not really sold on this pirate nobility. Benwet is the second most selfish captain within the Principe's newest generation. He risks all that we value. Who is the most selfish? He pinches at his lips, eyes narrowing uh, thoughtfully, but you can see that he is biting back on bike mischievous grin. Perhaps I have said too much. This is a problem solely of my own. For now. Hmm. Why accept non valians into the Principe if they are going to cause problems? You pirates retire comfortably, Emika. We sink and we hang or we burn. We must replace our losses, accepting from many regions, including the Deadfire. If Benvet is one of your own, shouldn't you take responsibility for his actions? Benvet is not captain of mine, Emika. It is not beneath my flag his Drake sails. Yet I do seek to temper his actions when they would endanger the Principe altogether. Where might I find Captain Benvet? Say I wanted to teach him a lesson? Yeah, that's a good question. Benvet's Drake took damage during the storm. Eventually he will need to dock for repairs, and when he does, Serefin can find him for you. Ferranter flourishes a hand toward the Orlan at his side. He is rather an unrefined creature, but he is a most skilled ship hunter, I assure you. Unrefined? Begging your pardon, Captain, but I'll be the eye fucking model of the gentleman of fortune. <laughs> as for Benwith, that sucker of squid tits be as predictable as the tide. I'd wager all my furriest bits that he'd set sail for deadlight. That would be felicitous indeed. As I believe the traitor Remaro hides there as well. I quite enjoy killing two men with a single bullet. Wouldn't have even thought of it if you hadn't brought it up, sir. Yet you feel a surge of anger that's not your own. Seraphin spins toward you and bows again. Now I ain't hardly in any hurry to leave the fine company of the gentlemen of leisure. But the captain be right about me finding your mark. Adding to that, you sail into Fort Deadlight not knowing your innies from your outies. You might very well find the locals cannon fucking your boat to sudden splinters. Seraphin, I fucking love your style. Welcome aboard, Seraphin. Uh, what can you do for me? 
Are you asking aside from our vaunted ship hunting abilities, self evident manners, and cyclopedic know how of all things piratical? Tita uh, glimpsed between the curves of his smile. Color rising in Elat's cheeks, he shakes his head. Um, okay. Why loan me your best ship hunter? What venture does not require an investment to be prosperous? The Seraphine is an allowance which I expect you will return. In one payment or another. Welcome aboard, Seraphim. Oh, you won't be regretting this, Watcher. At least so long as you keep us heavy in grog and light on the onions. Ugh, them dirty shit apples ain't never agreed with me, and I'll be suspecting they never will. He pats his belly as he strides to your side. He's not sleeping near my berth, I promise you that much. <laughs> I sail now for Dunnage, my own safe port. I will await you there. Should you be successful in schooling our wayward captain? Cypher or barbarian? Or witch? Uh, I think I'm good with you being a cypher. This choice cannot be changed later. Great! More things to figure out. Huh, what is this? Two ship deck? Can I check it out? Oh. I kind of regret clicking on it now. Oh, actually, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I suppose I can just move around, talk to companions. I can click on the two world map now. Little Luca? Did something happen? No. Oh, Seraphim. This be important, lass, so listen close. Whatever you be owing a watcher, you don't owe your life. You ever be wanting to leave, you just pack right up and ship out. Why would I want to leave? I like it here. Just saying, lass. She don't <laughs> Nobody does. Stop giving dumb ideas to my slaves, okay? They sign up for zero coin. Zero upfront coin. And one coin a day. How silly is that? Anyway, to the world map. <laughs> oh. Why would you ever want to leave? Exactly. There's no way. I suppose the food and uh, everything is provided. Abandoned village? Can I just... Is there a port here? Oh, there is a port here. Okay, I can get some food, fresh fruit. Marry all the mad. Anyway, guys, this is a good enough time to take a break. So thanks for watching and see you next time.